here we are again with the seawater test continued 18 of zinc 32 inches of copper times two in seawater nothing more nothing less no some people are writing saying acid and all this just seawater and in my other videos just what's mentioned in each video just what it says on the piece of paper that's it new connectors on here now to keep these cables and the crocodiles out of the salt water these are uh, shortened poles from 13 amp ring main plugs one that one that okay you have garden mesh just one layer of garden mesh where there were two previously that separate the copper and the zinc it's giving us 1.84 DC volts and their AC reading 3.3 .3. Just give it a bit longer. Yeah, it's still dropping. And we're down to 17.4 milliamps. After half an hour, just trickling on down there. 14.9 milliamps. And you can see I've got it set on. 200 because it came in at 100 and of course it wouldn't read it. I wonder what was wrong first of all. Nothing was wrong. Here we go. 25 seconds. Three and a half, four minutes of charging. Not enough. Anticipating a bit larger spark this time. Right, 18 squinches of zinc, 32 of copper in 2 litres of seawater times 2. And here we have 8 inches of copper and zinc also in seawater. These plates have been cleaned up and uh, reacting quite well and made these connections to keep the crocodiles away from that salt water because they were corroding as well as the plates getting caked up and between them they're offering us we are going at 3.44 DC volts uh, with a reading 6.7 AC there the amps let's see where they end up Right, if you watch the first part of this video, you will see that that was all undertaken with water well above room temperature. And uh, the amperage read out twice as much as this, just for these two cells here. Now I'm going to pop that one there into a tub of hot water and see if we can see the amperage rise. Okay, it's in the tub of hot water. And just to prove the point, Okay, that's just sucking heat from this tub and there it goes. So you can really multiply the amperage with the warm water so like in a sunny window or better still in a sun box you're going to get a much higher rate of reaction, higher amperage. Now them both in there we see it rising again.
so the amps will trickle on up now rather than going down until the water cools so there's a really good pointer 0.16 volts DC and it's still running the rice